Today I'm going to show you how to make your own sterno using perlite and diatomaceous earth and rubbing alcohol. This large bag of perlite, four cubic feet, is about $16 and can be found at your local gardening store. It's used to retain water. It's a volcanic rock that is uh, white in nature and it, it absorbs water. We will be using it to absorb the alcohol. Um, the diatomaceous earth in the same manner also comes from the earth. It's a very fine product. It is a very fine glass and it's used to get in between the joints of small insects and it cuts them up. Therefore, it's very safe to use around larger pets. You want to use a, a simple paint can with a tight fitting lid or something with a tight fitting lid. Uh, these cans of sterno, after you've opened them a few times, the lid doesn't want to go back on so well. Um, a can of sterno like this typically costs about $4. We'll do it for, for pennies on, on the dollar. And when you use your rubbing alcohol, I recommend using 91% rubbing alcohol. It's a much cleaner burn. Um, there's much less water in it than a 70% or a 50% alcohol. And it doesn't cost that much more. Then we'll uh, do a little comparison test between the two and see what the results are. All right, here we have a quarter cup of the Paralite. You can see it's a very white kind of powdery substance. We'll put that in here. And let's take a quarter cup of the diatomaceous earth. I think it has to be exact. And you can see that's very, almost like a pumice. Stir that up a bit. Try to mix the two. Okay, we're going to need a little more material in here. I think I'm going to go with another quarter cup of the perlite. So there you go. The sterno was not quite as hot as what we made here. And this is a lot cheaper. I'd recommend throwing one of these in your backpack. If you're out somewhere and you need a little bug out bag, you got your little flint and it's working great for you in dry weather, but uh, say you just had some rain or you're having a problem getting something started, this would be a nice easy way to get things started uh, to dry out your wood. Another thing, after you've used this for quite a bit and it's burned all up and it's hard, it's not right now, you'll have to probably use it for a couple hours for that to happen. But once it gets hard, just add a little more rubbing alcohol um, and you're ready to go. And you can just keep repeating that process. The only real way to be sure which is going to cook faster, the sterno, or what we made up, is to actually boil a cup of water. So I just have a little cheap stove here. All right, we got the stove running. Put a cup of water in there. A cup of water. There you go. So this, I can hear it rumbling at six minutes and thirty seconds. Six minutes and thirty seconds for the can of sterno. So the can of sterno took six minutes and thirty seconds. 
Let's see. Uh, let's see how long it takes for our homemade brew to boil a cup of water. Okay, four and a half minutes to start boiling. You can see right here. So it boiled uh, almost two minutes sooner than the sterno can itself. But interestingly enough, it didn't burn quite as clean. You can see a little more black soot around the, the edge. It didn't burn quite as clear although that's not as inter terribly important to me as how quickly it actually burns. Burns a little yellow, but it's definitely the clear winner at boiling a cup of water two minutes sooner than the can of Sterno.